how to scan textbooks on iPhone. Hello everyone and welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. My name's George and I'm thrilled to be with you once again. As you may know, on this channel, we often bring you tips to help you leverage the potential of PDF tools in your daily life. And today is no exception. But I want to approach the new app PDF Element from a different angle and focus on how this powerful tool can revolutionize the way we read and annotate our documents. Imagine the sheer convenience of not having to carry textbooks or physical documents ever again, and the peace of mind knowing you won't have to worry about damaging, losing, or staining them. It sounds absolutely fascinating, doesn't it? Naturally, getting rid of conventional stationery wouldn't be feasible if the solution I'm about to talk about to you wasn't practical, portable, and intuitive. Many of you probably already know what I'm referring to, and that's right. Our goal today is to replace all that stationery by scanning textbooks to PDF only using your iPhone. So sit back, relax, because I promise you, you will love the tips I'll share with you today. With the advancement of technology, especially thanks to electronic devices like smartphones and tablets, our perspective on documents has changed dramatically. Now, the days of carrying around heavy stacks of textbooks are finally gone. Today, with just one device, you can store thousands of books and documents as if you have your own personal library right in the palm of your hands. And thanks to the advanced search tools like those provided by PDF Element, organizing and finding digital documents is much easier. You can categorize your documents or rearrange pages according to your preference which is exponentially easier and faster than dealing with physical documents. Furthermore, unlike textbooks or physical documents, digital documents are much more durable and secure. They don't deteriorate and they can be easily backed up, thus reducing the environmental impact of paper production and disposal. Moreover, reading digital documents is often much more comfortable than reading a physical document. For example, in a physical document, you can increase the page size or edit its contents, but you can do both when reading a document from your iPhone with tools like PDF Element. With this application, you can resize pages, make annotations, and even edit content easily and effortlessly. As you can see, digital documents offer many advantages. Are you ready to delve into the world of digital documents? Get ready and find your phone because I'm about to show you how to scan textbooks with your iPhone. This way, you can say goodbye once and for all to all those annoying limitations and start enjoying all the benefits of the digital documents, along with the benefits that PDF Element has to offer. First, you need to open the PDF Element application. If you don't already have it installed on your device, remember that you can download it for free from the App Store. First, let's see how to scan a page from the textbook to PDF. Once the app is open, you'll find a blue plus button on the home screen by tapping this plus button, a menu with options to create documents will appear. In this case, choose the scan option, which allows us to convert our physical documents into digital ones. Now, your iPhone's camera will activate. Before you start scanning the document, make sure the auto option at the top right of the screen is active. With this option enabled, PDF element through your iPhone's camera will recognize the shape of any page you point at and accurately crop the image's silhouette to create a pristine document. Once you've captured the document, tap the Keep Scan button to return to the scanning interface. Great, now to finish, simply tap on Save. And there you have it, you've successfully converted the page into a PDF. Fantastic, isn't it? But wait a moment, what if you wanted to convert a document with several pages or even an entire textbook? Well, don't worry, the process is actually very similar. Let me show you. Let's go back to the moment you first took the capture, but this time, instead of simply returning to the scanning interface by tapping the Keep Scan button, point your camera at the next page you want to scan and take a new capture. What's happening right now is that you're taking multiple captures and PDF Element will ensure to take them all and merge them into a single PDF. As before, to finish, you'll need to tap the Save button, but this time you'll notice that right next to the Save button, you'll see a number of pages you've scanned so far. And if for some reason you forgot to scan a page or simply want to merge more pages into your document after you've created it, don't worry. The process is quite simple. First, you'll need to open the file you have already created and tap on the Pages option located next to the search button. Here, you'll see a preview of the pages in your document and a toolbar at the bottom of the screen. 
In this pages section, you can rearrange the pages of your document and split, extract, or add more pages. However, the tool that we're looking for is the add tool. With this tool, you can merge new pages into your PDF in four different ways. So you can decide whether to scan more pages or use an existing PDF. And there you have it. That's how you can effortlessly convert an entire textbook into a PDF. In this way, you can take your books and documents anywhere. And as an interesting tip, if you're used to reading textbooks and want to make your digital reading experience resemble that of a textbook, PDF Element has exactly what you need. By accessing this ellipsis menu, you'll find the option called View Settings. Tapping on that option will open a menu where you can set the page change to respond to horizontally swiping your finger on the screen, just like you would turn a page in a textbook. Furthermore, you can enable the two pages view option to enable a reading experience similar to that of a textbook when you rotate your iPhone horizontally. Reading a digital book or document using PDF Element is an incredibly satisfying experience. But wait, we can still go further by using PDF Element's powerful OCR technology. Let me explain why. As soon as you open any of the PDFs you just created, you'll notice that at the top right corner, a recognize button will appear. By pressing it, you'll bring up a menu with two options. Choose the OCR PDF option and select the language of your book or document, and then tap Next. At the bottom of the screen, a small window will appear where you can see the progress of the optical character recognition task. When the process is complete, a new version of your file will be generated, but this time, the text of your document will be fully editable. As soon as you open one of the documents you've performed optical character recognition on, you'll notice that you can now select and interact with the text in the document. To start editing it, just make sure to select the Edit PDF option in the Tools menu at the bottom of your screen. Then, simply tap the paragraph, title or sentence that you want to change, and your keyboard will automatically appear so you can write, delete or modify the text. On the other hand, if you want to do something like, um, let's say, highlight a sentence, the only difference is that now, in the Tools menu, you should select the Comment option. Choose the appropriate tool and use your fingers to select the text you want to highlight. And if you're a fan of sticky notes for jotting down your thoughts and ideas, guess what? PDF Element has you covered. Now, right there in the same bar, you'll find a nifty tool called Notes, which you can write all the notes you need, all from the comfort of your phone. In the Tools menu, you'll also find the Fill and Sign and Insert options. With these, you can sign documents, insert stamps, and create links to documents that redirect to other pages in the document or even other websites. With all these tools, you can forget about carrying textbooks, documents, pens, highlighters, and sticky notes forever. However, scanned textbooks can become quite large files and take up phone storage. And we all know that one of the main issues with iPhones is their limited storage capacities. And while PDF files don't take up much space, it's true that hundreds of books and documents in PDF format could take up a considerable amount of space over time. So to solve this problem, you can choose to compress the scanned textbooks and upload to the document cloud, where you can check the files from online and in any device. Open your documents and expand the ellipsis menu again and tap the Reduce File Size option. Then you'll see several compression options that allow you to reduce the file size by significantly sacrificing the quality of some elements. Generally, the Medium Compression option will be more than enough to significantly reduce the file size. As you can see, by using the Medium option, I managed to reduce my file size by 90% and the reduction in quality is imperceptible. To streamline this process, from the Home tab, you can tap the Settings button and go to the Scan option. Once there, all you have to do is enable the Scan Compression option, and that's it. From now on, every time you create a PDF using the Scan tool, the document will be automatically compressed to reduce its size. There are multiple cloud platforms that you can simply upload and access your files by heading to the PDF Element Files tab. By compressing your files this way, you can forget about storage issues. However, when you need to share the scanned textbooks with others, it also needs a while to download and send the whole file to other people. The share link function of PDF Element can help with the situation. Simply tap on the ellipsis menu again, and you'll see the share option. This gives you three great ways to share your document with others. The first one is to share by file. 
This option allows you to send a PDF to almost anyone through messaging services like Messenger, WhatsApp, Skype, Discord, and many more. The second one is to share by mail, which lets you attach the file to an email for easy sharing. And the last and my personal favorite one is share by link, which creates a web link that anyone can visit to view your document using any web browser. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with me till the end. If you've enjoyed or found this video helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. We regularly upload videos that update your tips and tricks to make your work life easier using the PDF Element workspace. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.